In this video, we're going to talk about editing surfaces in Rhino. And so we're going to also use other toolbars here with other additional tools like curve from objects. So we're going to talk about curves, curve tools, surface tools, and how everything comes together when you're doing NURBS modeling in Rhino. So for example, let's get started here with some surfaces tools. And the basic here are the fillets, extend, chamfer, blend surfaces. Now these are really similar to the curve tools that we've seen before, except that we have to work with surfaces. Now some tools can be used only with the specific element. So if you want to use surface tools, you need to have surfaces. If you want to use solid tools, you need to have solids curved tools, you need to have curves, and so on. But some of these, you can also use it. For example, you can mix the trim tool here. You can use it with surfaces. You can use it with curves. You can trim a surface with a curve and also with another surface. So it's a more versatile tool here. And not only this one, but also join and explode can be used in uh, curves and surfaces. So this one here, the fillet surfaces and also the others, these are all for specific element like surfaces. So right here you can see uh, many different uh, options of uh, filleting and chamfering. So I will delete this and I want to create another one. So let's get started here with a simple box. So solid. Now also a solid it's actually something related to surfaces because if I get a solid and then explode this, this is gonna be basically a, a poly surface. So I'll get the fillet surface and then I'll select first face or surface and the second. And that's it, that's my fillet. Right. Now always be careful on the radius of the fillet. If it's too big, it, it will not go. If it's bigger than one of the two surfaces. If it's too small, you don't see it. Now we also have this problem here. We, we have this uh, strange angle, so we need to trim that out. And we can do this using the trim tool or the divide or the split. So with the trim, I can select this one here as the cutting object, press enter and then select this one and that's gone. There you go. So this uh, missing surface, I can close that with, for example, the planner because this is a planner cut. So let's get back here to, here to surface tools. So we will get back to some of these surfaces and this is the planner. And I can just select this and press enter and that's gonna be closed. And if I join everything back together like that, this is gonna be a closed solid poly surface. So it's a solid again. Now let's chamfer something here. So I will select the chamfer surface. And again, first surface, second surface. And I don't see anything because it's too small. So let's go back. And also you can see here that even though this is a surf, uh, poly surface, you can still work with the surfaces that are inside. So you can still use the surface tool. So click here and just let's uh, change the distances. We need something a little bit more. So this is gonna be 50, enter, and we can also enter a second. It's gonna be 100, click there. That's going to be the first and that's going to be the second and let's go. That's the chamfer right there. Now again, I need to trim out those if I want to close these as a solid again. So uh, trim and get rid of those. And now let's move here at the bottom. And this time I want to show you this other one, which is very, very radius surface fillet. So the basic is the same, so basic steps. So I will select here a fillet and then one and two. 
okay? But then I can change here, for example, the second one, make it bigger, and press enter, and that's it. Now, when you do these types of operation, you can also trim right away. So let me do that again. But this time we will say trim and join, yes. Let's increase this again. Be careful not to go too far. Okay, you can also have a preview and then press enter. And now, well, it didn't trim and join, but again, if it doesn't do that, we need to do it. So we need to trim out. Well, yes, it did trim and join everything, but didn't cut those parts correctly. So I need to explode and do it myself. So yeah, sometimes something could go wrong. So you need to fix it manually. And there you go. We have another type of fillet right there. So you get the point here. Now, another really interesting tool is the offset surface and variable offset surface. So when you read variable, it's basically when you can change a little bit the um, the offset. Okay, now I'm selecting everything here and press enter and choose a distance. So let's make it 10 centimeters and press enter. You also have other things here like solid, yes. So we're gonna create a solid now. Well, actually this is a series of solids. So it's like we are given thickness to the object that we have created. So it's not a series of surface, it's a series of solid objects. Now let's unite and it everything with join and press enter. And then let's extrude again, sorry, uh, offset surface again. Okay, now you can see it's a closed poly surface, but we cannot actually see inside, but this has a thickness. So let's create a quick curve here. Okay, something random. And you can see this is now above this solid that I have created. And now I will go with the trim, select cutting objects, this one here. And I, eat, I need to stay here in the top view because I'm gonna cut everything that this, um, well, this shape is gonna find in the way. So this is my cutting object and then I can start to cut things around. You can see there the first cut and I can repeat that. There you go. So this is the second cut. And you can actually see that 